it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video. It's kind of an exciting video because it is a nail polish haul. I feel like I have not done a nail polish haul in ages. I used to do a nail polish haul every month, but I just haven't been buying polish often enough to warrant that. I have, however, been collecting these polishes over the last mm, two months or so. Um, it's a collective haul. I didn't buy all these all at once, but uh, I thought I'd share them with you because I know you guys are probably missing my nail polish hauls. I know a lot of you really enjoyed them. So I picked up polishes from Big Lots and Dollar General as well as Julep. So let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, and one from Kmart. One from Kmart. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first one I'm going to talk to you about is the one I picked up at Kmart. I can't even remember why we went to Kmart. Kmart is not a place that we shop very often. Um, oh, I do remember. I wanted to look for clothes for one of my best friend's daughters for her birthday. Um, I wanted to shop at Kmart because that's not a place that they generally shop, so I knew that if I bought clothing from there, it wouldn't be stuff she already had. Um, I didn't locate any awesome clothing, but I did manage to locate a nail polish, so I picked up the Revlon Parfumery Nail Polish in Autumn Spice. I talked in a video kind of recently about how I really, really wanted this polish. I think it was my Revlon nail polish collection haul, so I'll link that down below so you can check it out. Um, I added quite a few Revlons to my collection these last couple of months, but right after I filmed that video, actually, I saw this, and it was on clearance for three bucks, so of course I picked it up. Um, I didn't do swatches, I just realized. Hmm, I should have done swatches, but I didn't. Sorry, you guys. Um, this is just a super pretty fall shade. Um, falls right around the corner. I'm actually drinking coffee right now with pumpkin spice creamer. And yes, this is a Christmas mug. I'm a rebel. I use my Christmas mugs all year round. So I'm drinking my fall pumpkin coffee in my Christmas mug. Judge me if you want. But that was a very rambly way of saying fall's almost here. School starting next month. Fall's my favorite time of year. I love the weather. I love the changing leaves. I love the accessories. Nail polish is no exception, so this is going to be perfect for autumn, obviously autumn spice. Duh. So, I also picked up some Revlon Parfumery polishes at Big Lots. These are actually the polishes that I bought the most recently, but we're going to segue from the one Revlon polish to the other ones. So, talk to you guys about how much I love the Revlon Parfumery, 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 how do you say that? Parfumery? We're going to go with that. Um, I talked to you guys about how much I love these polishes, how I wanted to expand my collection, and then I went to Big Lots looking for um, bins to store my children's school clothes in. Um, I'll get into that in another video. Um, and I came across all of these for a buck fifty each. So I grabbed all the ones they had. If they had ten, I probably would have bought ten. Um, first one I picked up is Fresh Linen. It's just a really pretty kind of linen off-white color. These are more spring appropriate colors, but that's all right. Uh, Sunlit Grass, which is just a pretty yellow. I picked up, this is the one I'm wearing right now. This is Lavender Soap. It smells just like Lavender Soap. Surprise! Um, it's a little bit streaky, a little bit sheer. I think that's probably going to be the case with all of these because they are lighter colors, um, so they're not the best formula. But I love the smell, especially of this one. I love lavender. Yeah, I'm just sniffing my nails. That would make a cute thumbnail, wouldn't it? Um, I love the bottle shape. I love the brush. And for $1.50, I mean, come on. How, how could I pass these up? And the last one is so beautiful in the bottle. I've looked at swatches online, and this is a streaky... Like, you can see all the brush strokes with this one, so it's probably not going to be my favorite to wear. I may wear this with a matte top coat, which will... Um, you know, defeat the scented purpose, but we'll make it look a little bit better. Um, did I say what this is? This is Moonlight Woods. Or no, Moonlit Woods. Look at how beautiful. That color is right up my alley. So hopefully the formula won't be too difficult to work with and I can make it work because, ugh, gorgeous. Those are all the ones from Revlon. Revlon. I can't talk. Jeez. Um, so I went to Dollar General and they had their Wet n Wild Wild Shine polishes on clearance. Now this was a couple of months ago, so there's obviously no clearance anymore. 
um, but these are super affordable polishes to begin with. They're like a buck a piece normally and I got them for 80 cents. And they've got a new bottle shape for the Wet n Wild Wild Shine polishes, which kind of irritates me because now they're not all going to match. All the ones that I have in the old style bottle won't match the new style bottle. Grr, I hate when they do that, but whatever. They're not catering to me, obviously. Anyways, the ones that I picked up are Putting On Airs. I think I heard Stacy from Polished Ways talk about this polish. I don't think she's making videos anymore. She's like on a... Uh, a hiatus from videos which makes me so sad because I loved her videos. Stacy, where are your videos? I know you said you needed a break um, and that's completely understandable. YouTube can be very overwhelming um, but I hope you come back to videos soon because I miss you girl. Anyways, I think it was her that talked about this video or this I think it was her that talked about this polish so when I saw it I had to pick it up especially on clearance this is putting on airs. It's just a really pretty baby blue color. Like, I need another baby blue polish, but what can I say? It's gorgeous. And then the other one I picked up is Doe. You know, like Homer. I failed at the impersonation there, but um, it's just Simpson Yellow. And I love me a good yellow polish. Um, still on the hunt for the perfect yellow have yet to find a perfect formula, perfect color, but maybe this will be it. Who knows? I haven't swatched it yet. I don't have high hopes, but for 80 cents, I figured it was worth a shot. Actually, it looks very similar to uh, Sunlit Grass, just like brighter. Yeah, they don't look similar at all, Jesse. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today, you guys. It's Monday. Um, lastly, I want to share with you the polishes that I got in, was it last month's Julep Box? Might have been last month, might have been the month before. I don't really remember. Um, and then there's one that I picked up from the secret store. So the ones that I picked up, or the ones that I got in my box, I believe, were these. Two of these came in the box, and then one of them was an add on. It's been so long now since I got the box that I don't remember which is which. And I don't remember if I did a blog post on it. If I did a blog post on that box, I'll link it down below. Um, so yeah, these are those. Uh, the first one is Lore, and it's just a really gorgeous kind of fiery orange. Um, I believe this is a textured polish. Let me pull it out of the box here. Yep, it's their Stardust finish, which is one of my favorite finishes. Lots of glitter and things. Gorgeous. So that's Lore. And next up is Mari? Mary? M-A-R-I. I don't know how you pronounce it. We're gonna go with Mari. Mary would have a Y, right? Yeah. This is a one of their liquid holographic polishes, and I'm a sucker for anything holographic. It's like a raspberry holographic, so of course I um, put that one in the box. And then this one is Cali. And this is one of those right up Jessie's Alley colors. It's gorgeous purpley toned with a little bit of a duochrome finish there, so think that's going to be gorgeous on the nails as well. The very last polish I have to share with you is Ada ADA. And this I bought at the secret store. It is a um, kind of like a speckled, like a fizzy, did they call this a fizz finish or something? Um, I don't remember exactly what they called it, but it's like another raspberry color that's sort of jelly-like. And it's got specks of white and pink glitter in it. I think that's the best way to describe it. I'm terrible at descriptions, but that's that. And I was just interested in the finish because I, you know, it's something a little bit different. Julep comes out with a lot of polishes that all kind of look the same sometimes. So when they come out with something a little bit different, I buy it. They suck me in. So that's it. That's my nail polish haul for you guys this month for the last couple months. I don't know how long it's been. Um, I will continue to share with you guys nail polish hauls as I collect polishes. Um, probably won't be on a regular basis. I've slowed way, way down on my nail polish shopping. But if you guys are interested in seeing more nail polish hauls, give this video a thumbs up. I will also link my nail polish haul playlist so that you can watch all of my previous hauls if you're interested in, um, if you are interested in seeing what I have in my nail polish collection, I will link my uh, collection series video playlist here somewhere. So um, check out all my nail polish related videos. 
subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd love to have you back, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone.